name is Swamsi Krishna and today we are going to learn about shaders in Maya. I am going to teach you about basic shaders in Maya and relay shaders. Okay. So for today let's take a model like this. I will put a link in the description so you can download this model. Uh, I made it. so. You can download this model and continue with me okay so for this we are going to share this object and see how it's reacting and what it looks like okay if you didn't watch my previous videos please go there and watch it before watching this okay so let's create a light uh, let's take a light uh, go to create lights and take area light this thing okay. yeah type of thing will come and it will look like this i'll explain lights after this class but uh just do like me right now that uh that pole like thing is there, right? So that should be downwards. And if you want, uh, you can uh, rotate, you can type numbers manually like 90 degrees. So it's exactly 90 degrees. So here, W to translate. I'll go to the top view and press 4 to wireframe mode. Place it on top of the object and let's scale it a bit. Yes, that's it. It had it on the top. Okay. Let's render this thing. Yeah. The quality is a little bit low because I set quality a little bit low. Make it uh, like before. Okay. Now it is showing you the result, but clearly. It is showing like hard edges in this render, but in the viewpoint it's smooth because I changed it with 3. 3 is a smooth mode, right? I explained it in the previous video previous videos okay if you're using three to smooth it then the video won't take that you should smooth that with uh, this thing yeah like my shooting place so now if you take your render let's show you It is smooth here, right? Than here. Let's deselect this and take whole render.
Okay. Now let's let me show you the materials in Maya. Like assign no material and click on Maya. So in Maya default shaders will be visible. Most of the time we use a Lambert blend Fong, we don't use that from E to RAM shader we use sometimes and surface shader is important and use background is important okay these are the important ones not this phone and this one and layer shader these two and these three these are the important materials so Lambert is a basic shader with no reflections and nothing at all it's a like flat object uh then blend is for plastic reflecting surfaces plastic no uh, uh plastic will also reflect right uh like uh metals and some other reflecting surfaces okay this this thing is for reflecting surfaces. Uh, let me show you that. You'll understand. So let's apply a Lambert. Then in here, you can see color transparency and be in color independency. Let's say we increase the color. Or if you want to change the color, click on this and change it. Now let's go for transparency. Transparency, how much it should be visible in the viewport. Let's say if you put it in here, then take a render. Then it will look like this. The transparency is on, so. It is transparent, right? You can see the background. Okay. Most of the time it is not necessary, so we are not using that. Ambient color. We'll make it uh, a little lower. So what it means is it will reflect your light uh, uh, color light coming from this object on the other surfaces. If you turn on the GI, I'll explain more to GI in other lessons. It is like increasing the color and the glow of the object and the color independency it means it is a glowing object object will glow with this scroll okay if i increase it like this you can see right light is producing from that object Here you can see the light is coming and falling on the floor. This ambient color will glow the color, but the independency will glow the object itself. This bump map, I'll explain it later, so that's not a problem. It's an easy concept, but we should make a separate video on that. Ancelescent. Ancelescent means, uh, you know, right? Paper is a translucent surface because it will it will show you the light coming from backwards. Let's say if I put it like this.
you don't observe it that much but if you you know in cloths in papers that kind of things because it only have one surface uh, yeah one surface because it is a bigger object and it has two surfaces in circle that's why it's not showing anything i'll explain these colors as well in any other video special effects yeah here you can see the glow intensity to make your object glow yeah yeah you can see that a little bit of glow is added if you want to know more about it just play with it play with the scrollers and see is it doing anything or not this is a refraction so let's say uh, turn on the refraction and uh refraction index and limit uh, We usually use V-Ray materials and V-Ray uh, render because it is faster than the other renderers, better than other renderers because it's faster and it is lighter on the CPU. So we usually use V-Ray shaders. So it's not a problem here. Let's take a uh, V-Ray shading, basic shading or um, material so we can see the refraction in that. these kind uh, these things are important but it's not uh time right now to explain these so i'll explain when the time comes and and we have a project on that so go to vray and you can see it has more materials but we should have a standard material like right? this one this this thing very standard material let's see it has diffuse color it don't have any basic color it is diffuse color is the color yes you change it here if you want like this and opacity map it's a translucent transparency map in uh in lambert lin okay and roughness amount and self, self illumination roughness means how much uh, rougher it object should be okay self illumination so you saw it before right it becomes like a, a light object which will produce light gx reflection let's keep it in that and reflection increase the color so that it will increase the reflection you can see in here right the object is changing should turn off this use panel or else your object won't reflect uh, anything like that. it will only reflect uh, have you seen uh, if you see a marble from distance distant marble will be reflective and one near you is not reflective that's that's when you should use Fresnel. but the basic reflection is not like that so reflective glossiness reflective glossiness means uh, the roughness of the reflection like in objects we don't see that much of a clear reflection it is a rough reflection right that's what it will do okay reflection subdues it is enough
First, we should see this. Refraction I wore. Skip it into. Let's see how it is looking like. Let's decrease reflection glossiness and take a render. Yeah, it's, it is looking like glass, right? Yeah, it's, it's transparent. It's looking like glass. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, reflect refraction is over. Off map, it's not necessary. I will explain it under the video. So that's it uh, for the shaders and V-Ray and Mental Ray. No, Mental, not Ma uh, Mental Ray, Maya. These are the basic shaders you need to know about. And when the shaders are necessary, it will be available for you. So if you want to see V-Ray materials, yeah, V-Ray surface, blend material. Here, car paint, we use it, we use often this material. So can paint the car you are doing a project on car this thing will be necessary for you and hair hair material um hair material 3d hair material two-sided means if you if you're having one more object and it it is like if you want one side one texture and another side another texture but it should be the same material that it will be used for this that kind of thing okay here a tool material it will make the material look like two okay so let's add it you know below let's take a render See here, it's looking like tomb. You see an anime or something. That's it. If you want to cancel the render, press escape to cancel it. And if you want to save the render, go to file, save image and you can place it wherever you want okay and an assign a name and file type as well put it in jpeg most of the time use jpeg or png that's it don't use any, anything other than that you can't see you can't open it in your laptop or pc if you if you click on other another setting like alfx or something Okay, my name is Vamsi Krishna and this is one of our channel. If you like this video, please click a like and subscribe. And that's it. Thank you for joining me today. See you again in the next video.